what's going on? What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Oxpo, the Sneaker Lord, and you're back with me for another video. So what's good, y'all? What's good? What's good? What's good? Today is Monday, December the 21st, and I'm in the car chilling. I'm about to head out. Just got to about to leave the house and head out, make a few errands. But I wanted to record a quick vid show a couple of my pickups that I've got in the past couple of days uh, while I'm straightening up the room with the kicks and stuff like that. So I just to knock out a few videos in the whip. My last couple of videos been in the whip, but you know, I've been working a lot. So boom in the whip. Anyhow, let's get to the kicks. You feel me? So they're not in any random order. I'm probably going to just split them up. In a couple of different videos and shit, so you know what I mean. You'll see your boy. You feel me? You'll see your boy and talk about these kicks. So let's get to the first one. Ah, uh, Jordan box, my size, size thirteen, also fourteen. Uh, as you know. When you see this box, you know what time it is. Bam! So these are the black in Hyper Royal 13s. These are way go. These are fire. Super duper high fire. Uh, I picked these up Saturday that just passed. Uh, I end up like doubling up on these. So uh, maybe even, I might even triple up. But I, I definitely doubled up on these. Uh, as you know, I'm pretty fond of the blue. So anytime Jordan rock, drops a royal blue, navy blue, anything in the blue family, they got my money off top. So I think you might be seeing, I think this has the 3M. Uh, in the uh, the top right here, you know, if you've seen one thirteen, you've seen them all. I end up, uh, I have the thirteens uh, from uh, a couple years ago. I think they were from two thousand seventeen. Which this uh, top, I think uh, it's reverse. You know, what I mean, the blue is in the same place, but uh, down here is white, and there's a bunch of white on the shoe. So I I have those. I'm actually going to probably do a comparison video on both. You feel me? So these are the black and hyper royal 13s. They're very clean shoe. In my honest opinion, I really like that these at the bottom are black because they tend to get really dirty. Uh, my he got games. They're kind of hanging in there. You know, I keep them clean. So. It's kind of nice to out be able to like floss these and not worry about the getting too dirty and have to keep cleaning and keep cleaning and keep cleaning. So they that's dope. You feel me? We're gonna get on to the next pair in the lineup. Foot locker. As you know, your boy Ox Poe is the foot locker guy. So boom, Jordan box again. I 
though you guys from the box will probably have a good idea of what these are. If you don't, they're the good old holiday release. The uh, Fire Red 4s from uh, Thanksgiving, the uh, Black Friday. Black Friday release. So, uh, these are, I picked these up on uh, Black Friday. Well, the Saturday after Black Friday. And uh, these were clean with the OG Nike on the back. I had to have them, you know, with the four hang tag. Had to pick these up. I end up uh, quadrupling up on these. I end up getting these uh, online in a size 14. So I'm actually probably, I'm just going to try on one of the 13s that I got and uh, see if it fits better in the 14 or 13. Possibly keep those. So these are the Fire Red 4s. You know, you guys know from dealing with me that the 4s, the 13s, 9s, 1, 3, and uh, 2s are my favorite Jordans. You know what I mean? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 13 are my favorite Js. I like the 9s too. So, when those usually come out, depending on the colorway, I'm usually always game, always in line to cop. So, these were a must. I never had uh, the Fire Red 4s. Uh, I told this story already. You know, the first pair of shoes that I bought on my own with my own money that I earned was the uh, OG Black Cement 4s. So, I had a hard time copping them this year or last year when they re-released because I lost my wallet and I wasn't able to uh, get, but I ended up getting a pair off eBay uh, a few months later for the score. Them just about retail. So that was dope. I was really feeling it. And with these, these are nice. The leather quality isn't really... Uh, nothing to write home about but their og shoe and it's it's nice it's good to have in the uh collection it's good to have a pair of these and i might hold on to more than just uh one so i might keep one of these on ice uh just to have it in the in the closet so if the other one gets real beat i'll be able to boop, fresh eyes so it's good like i said to have this uh in the collection these were real dope it was a real must have for me so you know i cop i end up copping like i said four pairs uh wifey got a pair on her account i actually hit a pair on my account and then uh my sneaker connect shout out to my sneaker connect you know who you are my footlocker guy uh they got a restock at the aventura mall he called me, hey, Ox, did you grab the 13s? I was like, well, the 4s, we got a size 13 in the 4s. I'm there, hold them down for me. I'll be on my way. So that's how I ended up with four pairs. And uh, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm definitely not mad. The Like I said, the leather quality isn't really nothing to write home about. It's soft, but it's kind of that cheap uh, pleather kind of situation but it's good to have these ogs and in, in the uh in the collection so boom all right moving on moving on moving on Quick, oh. moving on nothing to see here nothing to see here lies number fire number fire in the, uh, in the latest pickups you know, uh, you should look at this box and know what this is. I know you guys probably seen this a hundred times, but it, you ain't seen it with me. You ain't see it with your boy. So boom, this is a size 13, my size. Uh, shout out to my guy. You know who you are, you know, his tag. And uh, let's get into it real quick.
Bam! So these are your Jordan 25th anniversary, 25th anniversary Jubilees 11. So these are holiday 11. It has a, like a silver 23 in the back and it has the uh, Jordan going up the sides on the on the eyelets. You know what I mean? So, and it's, uh, it's kind of like a milky bottom. This milky bottom. Uh, this kind of reminds me of the 72 and 10 uh, Jordans that released a few years back. And I wasn't able to cop those at that time, but I got these. I ended up uh, getting uh, about three or four pairs of these. You know what I mean? I ended up getting two in my size. I got an eight and a half for wifey. And I ended up just getting an extra pair of ten, uh, size 10 and a half because uh, my friend hit uh, five pairs. And he wasn't able to pick them all up. So I ended up just grabbing a 10 and all that. But as you see, these are smoking super hot fire. Uh, a lot of people, when the first uh, the first uh, look of these shoes came out, a lot of people weren't feeling them because of the uh, Jordan up the side. Uh, saying that they were kind of, that was kind of corny. But uh, I guess... It grew on everybody, and plus this was a uh, Tinker Hatfield's, you know, first drawing of the uh, sketch of the shoe when it back in '95 when these came out. So, you know, with those the nostalgia kind of situation, and the 11s are always a dope shoe. You know what I mean? Always a dope shoe. Everyone always like every Jordan head actually loves the 11. Like, I don't never really hear too many people saying that they're not feeling an 11 or they're not. Only 11 that everybody wasn't really uh, too fond of was the uh, Platinum Tint, which came out about two years ago. And I feel those were dope. I have mine. I've worn it. Uh, I've seen the prices on that shoe on StockX are, are up. So, eh, who am I? <coughs> Excuse me. But these are dope. You know, the carbon fiber. Uh, patent leather is dope. It's a real dope shoe. It's a real, 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 real dope shoe. Honestly, uh, I'm really feeling it. I was glad I was able to get a pair. I was really hoping for a 14. But I got these. It's dope. I'm going to put these on feet hella quick. Uh, sort of like I did with my Concords. Because uh, yeah, I, I ended up busting the Concords for a, a sneaker con for Lauderdale. So that was a great adventure for me too. Where I got to meet, uh, meet a lot of my favorite U YouTubers. Because even though I'm a YouTuber, I still watch uh, a lot of other YouTubers. Like uh, T. Ward, Mike Rich. Uh, unbreakable uh, I watch unbreakable because you know he got good information and it always l leads to like he knows when the shock drops are coming and all that good stuff so I watch break and like I said I got to meet break I've got to meet T Ward um, and a few others uh, feed and treats met her too so you know Shout out to everybody that attended uh, Sneaker Con for a lot of them a few years ago that interacted with me. Shout out to y'all. Thank you. And uh, these are my Jordan 11 Jubilees. And, you know, that's about it. You know, that brings us to the close of my latest pickups, my latest cops and stuff. So, again... You're here with your boy, Ox Poe, the Sneaker Lord. You feel me? Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting my channel as I grow, as I try to reach 1K. You feel me? I'm, I'm glad you guys are here with me. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for taking your time out your day. I just want to thank you, my supporters. Just thank y'all. You know what I mean? I'm very, I'm very... uh thankful for you guys that you guys watch my videos 
I thank you for your comments. I thank you for all the love you guys show me. Also, you know, if you like, like the video, just go ahead and like the video, comment down below. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do so so you're instantly notified when I drop this heat, man. Again, it's your boy Ox Poe, the Sneaker Lord, and I'm out.